everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I've got another fun swing card and this time I've used the Riding the Waves stamp set. So this is the newest stamp set and I like to mix and match with older die sets. So I thought I'd bring out the swinging one again. And you can see here, it's hard to, but you can see him just about there swinging very freely. And then his friends have all come and gathered to wish him a totally awesome birthday. It's a really fun one, love this one. And then you've got space on the back to write your message. If you've not seen this um, card before, it all folds flat and this will fit into a six by six envelope. So let me show you how I made it. So this is the swing card die set mechanism. So a really nice one, everything there, easy to put together. So I've already cut what I need and I think I know where I'm going with this one. So I've already cut myself my card blank. So this is a piece of 12 by six and along the 12 inch side I've scored at six inches. So just through the middle, or if you've got your shop brought ones, then you can use those as well. And then I've stuck this piece of, it's about five, five and seven eighths, I think squared or five and three quarters, but I've just put a mat layer over there. I've gone for white because I'm gonna have the pattern paper inside and this is kind of like the outside of a boat as such. This is, like I said, it's going to be that porthole, you know, window on the side. So stick that one down. You might want to emboss this, do other things with it if you want. And then you can stick your pattern piece on the inside at the same time as well. So this is the same size as whatever you cut your white piece. And then once we cut the circle into there, that will, you'll be able to see that detail. So I'm going to do that bit next. Okay, so that's stuck inside. I'm going to flip it over and it's this side that I now want to die cut. So in the set, you get your circles and you also have this aperture here. Now, I did think about using this one and I still think I will for another kind of style underwater card because this can easily be the seaweed kind of looking through, you know, at the bottom of the sea and um, you look through and you see all the creatures and, you know, the, the fish and stuff swimming around. So that one will definitely work. But because I'm going for more of that boat and you're kind of or like a aquarium, you know, you're looking in, then... That's why I'm not using that one. So you've got your two circles. The smaller one's the one that you want to use, but you will use the larger one as well to make the frame. So I'm going to sit this one in the middle. Now, I'm going to move this, I think, either... I think I'm going to come down. Usually I, I stick it right in the middle. But I think I'm going to have my sentiment stamped along the top here. So you get these really nice ones here, really fun puns. I'm not sure what... I'm going to have swinging in the middle yet so then once I know then I can I can match my sentiment to that one so for that reason yeah I think lower because you can trim the the kind of pendulum the hanging piece um but you don't want to go too high because you might see the mechanism piece that it's attached to so I think it's going to be better coming down lower but you want to make sure that your frame isn't going to come off the edge either so I think that's going to be fine. And then I've got room to stamp the sentiment right along the top because I know I want to have these kind of on the outside looking in as well. So just kind of play around, decide where you want to, you know, have that piece die cut and then just make sure you get it in the middle, like centred from, you know, both sides there. And then I'm going to add my tape onto the inside piece because that's the bit that I won't need. So if it does tear at all, this is going to tear that piece there. I'm just going to sit that one on the top there. And then I've got my shim over the top there and then my top plate and just run that one through. And now you can see the detail there. So I'm going to now stick the frame on and then stamp my sentiment because then I know exactly the space that I've got there. So that's using the larger frame along with the original smaller one. And you just want to lay them down and then I tape them in place with, again, some washi tape. So just get that so you've got a nice equal ring. Like so. And then I used holographic cardstock, run that through to cut this piece. So I'm going to use my oh, quick grab glue here. Holographic card is my favourite, but it also works so well with underwater cards. But silver would look just as nice on this anyway, and it will look more like a metal frame. So 
So I've got that now all in place. Now I need to decide on the animal that I'm going to have swinging. I think the dolphin and the whale are almost too big. I think this is going to suit the smaller ones. So I think I'm loving the turtle. And then that's using, maybe I just stick with all the ride in the waves ones so I can have the penguin and the seal there. And then we've got the, the turtle here. So here be swinging inside. So it's like they're looking into him. I'm going to add some more in the background. So I'll probably add the seahorse. We'll stick the stingray. We've got the puffer fish and the starfish as well. Maybe the starfish can be on the outside. And then I can have have a totally awesome birthday. It's kind of got to be that one, really. That's going to fit perfectly along the top there. So take all this away and I'm going to stamp the sentiment and get that in place. OK, so that's stamped nicely. Then you want to die cut these pieces here. So I've got this acetate piece here is cut using that die and then this one here which is how it will attach so with this one here you just want to fold it in half and the two holes will line up and then there's a little line there that you just follow and just fold that back out so you've got these wings like this and then you want to add some glue just to the inside piece here just on one side and then just stick that together so the wings are folded out like so. So I've just added some glue there and I've also just marked halfway on the score line here. You're going to stick half of this so it's on the pattern piece here. So it's folded down at the moment. Make sure it's nice and straight. So this is now right in the middle and you can see where you're for me, the turtle's going to be hanging there. And then fold that piece down and then bring down the card. Okay. Once that's drying, you want to grab yourself a brad. So I use the 5mm brads. I'll link these below. The colour doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it, but I'll try and get a blue. So I've got very small 2mm ones here, so I'm just trying to get a... A larger, there we go, we'll go for that turquoise one there, or oh, aqua colour. So you're going to pop it through the hole, open this up, and you're going to feed it through that side. And then I like to just open this, the brad up slightly there with your pokey tool, and then fold it over the pokey tool, or your piercing tool, whatever you want to call it. So you've got it kind of raised and you'll see this just falls. It's just going to mean that whatever you have swinging is going to swing really nicely. If you squeeze that tight now, it wouldn't really swing. So by just folding the brad over something, it could be a ruler, then it would just give you that really nice, clean motion there. You can, I know you can't really see it, but it is. It's moving really nicely. So now we can attach the turtle. He actually is the right proportion for this card. It fits really nicely. So I'm going to use some of my red tape here and I'm going to add. So you can trim this. You could have it up here if you wanted to. You know, it's up to you. You don't have to keep it as long as we've made it here. So I'm just going to trim away the bottom there. And then I can just attach, so have him slightly angled there, like so. You can probably hear more than see, but he's swinging perfectly, so I'm pleased with that. Then you want to cut the base, so this is the large die that comes in the set here. So this is going to turn the card into a tenfold. You can leave this out if you want. But if you've got something quite weighty in there, there's a little bit of grip on this table, but most people's surfaces, especially if they polish and stuff, it will end up probably opening. So this is going to stop that happening. And then you just write your message on the back. So just cut yourself another piece of white, for example, in the sizes that I gave and stick that on the back there. But with this one here, when it cuts, I always like to just go over the lines. So just pop it into your 
into your school board there and just find a track, just line it up and just go over those there. Ooh. Like so. Do a mountain, valley, and then a mountain fold. So you've got like a W shape. You're then going to add your glue along the bottom here. If you want to stick more into this and stamp anything, do it before you add this piece. But I'm going to be able to stick things still through this part anyway. But saying that, and I can still do this, I'm probably going to put some acetate behind this as well. So maybe I'll just leave because you can still do that and add the acetate. But I think it might be a bit easier to just hold fire with that for a second. I've got a bit of scrap acetate here. Yeah, I think that's going to look really cool. So I'm going to cut the acetate. You can cut a square if you want, but I'm going to cut it using the largest circle. It just fits on there. And then I'm going to stick that onto the back. OK, so you would have just seen me cut and then I've just popped some red tape around the edge there. And now that will just sit over the back and just make sure you burnish it well. You'll see the tape will go darker in colour. That means it's completely adhered. There we go. So yeah, once we add embellishments onto this, that I think that looks really cool. So now we can go back to this, which I think I'm going to get away with that glue still being wet. So I'm going to oop, line this one up with the bottom here, like so. And then just add some more glue along there. And you can still slide and stick things in, even though we've put the acetate on. And bring that one down so it's all folded up and close the back of the card. And now that will stand perfectly and you, you don't have to worry about it falling open. OK, so now I need to decorate it. So I've got some enamel dots here because I thought about having blue around. I think they could work quite nice. Or I've got these silver ones. just wanted to create like little screws or rivets. I used to have some, um, but those have long gone now. Those I think are too big. I kind of like the blue. I think that looks looks quite nice. So I'm going to stick these ones down. I'm going to get one right in the middle. And then I'm going to go to the opposite side. I'm going to build them up this way. That way you know that they're going to be even. If you just start sticking them and then do another one there, another one there, you might find you run out or you end up having a big gap. Or if you do it like this, it's much easier. And then we'll do one this side. And then on this side. And then I'm going to do in between these two here. And then there. And I think that's enough. You could then go half again, but I won't have enough of my enamel dots there. But I think that looks really cool. So we'll keep that as it is. These ones I picked up when I used to live abroad, um, but you can find enamel dots. If you type in enamel dots, you should find them on like eBay and Amazon, places like that. So I've got those in place. Then I've got these ones here and then all of the other die cuts. So we're going to focus on all of the ones from the Ride in the Waves. And I think I'm going to add the rocks, which are in the treasure trove die set but I think I might have stick that one just there just so that the penguin and the seal have something to kind of sit on as they're looking so I think if you just have them on their own I'm going to pop them up on some foam and I'll probably end up removing that one there because you won't see it anyway and it's just creating a bit of bulk so I'm going to pop it, pop some music on now because um, this always takes me time to do. I've got some seaweed, but I'm going to have this stuck inside. So I'm just going to stick it around, pop a bit of glue on the edge and just have it. So it's just kind of like creeping in a bit around the frame there. And then I'm going to stick the starfish. I think we will have on the outside 
with those, but I'm going to add the stingray into the back along with maybe the puffer fish as well. Because the whole point is that they're looking in and then they're just seeing all of these, you know, creatures. So the, the kind of the puffer fish, the sea, stingray, sorry, and the seahorse, you know, they can all fit in there. I think that will look really fun. Anyway, I'm going to get that all done and then I'll show you it once I finish. So that's the card all finished. I ended up not adding the seal. It was a bit much with the seal, the penguin and the starfish. So I think it looks quite nice like that. But there's lots inside. You've got the stingray and the puffer fish. And then on this side, we've got the seahorse. And then I've built up the seaweed on the front there as well. So it's quite a clean looking card, even though there's a lot going in. I think because it's got that white on the front. And then there's just something about it. Really enjoyed making this one. So I hope it's given you some inspiration. Maybe you've got this die set and you just want other ways to use it. Maybe you've bought these stamps and you like this idea. Just want to keep inspiring you and sharing fun card styles. So yeah, I love this one. I just want to keep swinging it. <laughs> anyway, as always, I will link all of the product that I've used today in the description box below and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.